you believe on what Jesus did for you you will die and go to heaven now turn around do an about face and start living the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. The if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Jesus and if this right. isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then Go consider becoming a partner today. with us. I'm preaching a lot of things and touching on things that's not being presented and preached in most places. Mm -hmm. And it requires you to think differently and then believe differently. Say, believe differently. Believe differently. Can you testify to this fact mm -hmm. that the things that we preach on requires you to think differently and then it requires you to believe differently well if you if you think differently and believe differently it takes you to a different place that if you didn't think that way and believe that way you wouldn't get there that's why we have to preach these things mm -hmm. well I'm gonna preach some things that we need to prove say prove, prove. and then hold fast to if it's good first Thessalonians 5 21 prove all things hold fast to that which is good if we prove it then we hold fast to it because it's good yes. if you think differently and believe differently then you end up acting differently and you live differently you end up with a different life would this be good yes. now if you started out in your Christianity like most people have with the end result and the object of dying and going to heaven if you believe on what Jesus did for you you will die and go to heaven now turn around do an about face and start living you will die and go to heaven but knock it off turn around and start living you don't have to live your life the way everybody else thinks you need to the way other people expect you to other Christians expect you to it's because they're they're limited in their knowledge they haven't come or believed or thought this way differently so they're they're stuck in that place so they look at you and then you're weird I'm not weird you're weird if we prove some things and hold fast to them we're gonna be doing something that other people aren't doing living thinking believing in a way that other people aren't living thinking and believing mm -hmm. so we're gonna prove this say this, this and then we're gonna to hold to that which is good mm -hmm. prove this and hold to that first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches you see this in your Bible mm -hmm. God doesn't want you trusting in uncertain riches why because the riches are uncertain mm -hmm. he wants you to trust in him in a way so that your riches are certain trust in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy is this in your Bible yes. does this say that the living God give you're supposed to trust in him mm -hmm. and he gives you richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. say the living God, the living God gives, me gives me richly, richly all, things all things to enjoy all things now is this a promise of God it is. Yes. then all things must be in this promise all things what about all money mm -hmm. what about all healing mm -hmm. what about all youth renewal yes. all things mm -hmm. so the Living God the Holy Ghost gives us richly all things is this true so how do I extract this all things and get it out of that verse 
because if I can extract it and get it out I can prove it we're gonna extract the marrow of life now here we've got the living God he's not a dead God he's living to give you richly all things to enjoy life say to enjoy life, to enjoy life. I mean those kind of words just don't even exist in many circles that I should enjoy life I thought we were just supposed to die and go to heaven you will die and go to heaven when you die when you die but you're not supposed to die right now you're supposed to live and enjoy is that what he said yeah. the living God gives us richly all things so we die and go to heaven is that what he said no. living God gives us richly living God living to live and enjoy life enjoy life proving all things holding fast would that be good to enjoy life yes. we need to hold fast to it we need to prove it Psalm 34 verse 8 oh taste and see that the Lord is good if you're gonna see that the Lord is good you have to taste first is this too difficult we prove and hold fast to that which is good who's good taste and see that the Lord is good mark chapter 10 verse 17 and when he was gone forth into the way there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him good master what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life and Jesus said unto him why callest thou me good there is none good but one that is God let's say that we had a verse of scripture let's just imagine this that we had something to where we were supposed to prove all things and then hold fast to that which is good and yet your Bible says there's only one good who is so what's we should be holding fast to the one that is good and out of him comes all things richly to enjoy are you here well the fact is the Holy Ghost is God and when it says there's none good but one was Jesus talking about himself here no, no. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on unto death and then heaven is that what it said no let us go on to perfection not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God and this we will do we will do what we will go on to perfection That's right. this we will do and this is where I wanted to get to Hebrews chapter 6 verse 4 and have tasted of the heavenly gift have what tasted. tasted remember taste and see that the Lord is good they've tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. they tasted and made were made partakers of the Holy Ghost verse 5 and have tasted the good word of God they tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost God yes. yeah and have tasted the good word of God mm -hmm. he would have to be a good God to have good words they tasted say they tasted, they tasted of the good word of God so he's a good God are you still here yes. he's the only one good and he if he if he's a good God and then he's gonna open his mouth and say something what's that gonna be good it's gonna be words they'll, they'll be good words 
that's my point he's a good God he's speaking good words that's why he says they're good words of God and we're supposed to taste it meaning we're supposed to have that on our tongue we're supposed to have that on our mouth taste and see mm -hmm. you're not gonna see until you have it in your mouth That's right. then you begin to see it are you here mm -hmm. good God <laughs> who would that be the Holy Ghost tasting requires the tongue the Word of God also requires your tongue to taste it what if you just looked at the word you could look like it's pretty good that'd be pretty good but you don't see that it's good until you taste it until you say it until I speak it until I breathe it out when I breathe it out I begin to see it I begin to experience it in my life second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 all scripture is given by inspiration of God inspiration of God now the word inspiration literally means God breathed so the scripture is given by God breathing it out speaking it out mm -hmm. say God spoke it out, God spoke it out. second Peter chapter 1 and verse 21 for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake out spake as they were moved by who the Holy Ghost, the holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. they spoke the words of God they breathed out say they breathed out they breathed out, they breathed out the Word of God by the Holy Ghost who is God you saw that right mm -hmm. all scriptures given by inspiration of God mm -hmm. then they spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost Luke chapter 4 verse 1 and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit the Holy Ghost into the wilderness who was Jesus following the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. verse 4 and here we see the first words that came out of Jesus's mouth after he was filled with the Holy Ghost it is written that man shall not what live by bread alone but by every word of God so here he's saying you will live life by every word of God who do we know is the one that spoke when scriptures came forth Holy Ghost do you suppose Jesus knew that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now he's filled with the Holy Ghost and says this is how you're going to live say live, live. living God gives you richly all things to enjoy if you're gonna live a life of all things to enjoy this this is how you're gonna do it by every word now another translation says by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God how are you gonna live you're gonna live by every word that God breathed who was the God that breathed these words the Holy Ghost we live by this now if we're supposed to live by it there must be life in it are you here and I'm not talking about dying and going to heaven was that what he was talking about in first Timothy 6 17 dying going to heaven no he said rich in this world living God giving you richly all things to enjoy has to be the power in that word for all things it is written man shall not live by bread alone but will live by the God breathed words say I can live by God breathed, God breathed words, words which means there has to be power in those words for you to live that kind of life mm -hmm. so all things are in there all things are included in the word what do you mean all things you mean all things to live by all things to enjoy yeah that's what I mean 
He is the living God. Psalm chapter 1, and then let's read verse 1. Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord or we could say in the word of the Lord and in his word does he meditate day and night mm -hmm. and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper well what's the number one thing he shall be doing in his word does he meditate day and night the word meditate literally means to mutter you have to vocalize it say you have to say it now he says meditate or breathe out are you here I'm trying to lead you up to some place we have the Holy Ghost who breathed out the words now he's telling us that we have to taste and see meditate mutter or breathe out those words day and night I like to put in there because it it, it helps my head daily and nightly so whatsoever he doeth well the number one thing that he doeth is that he doeth the saying and the muttering and the breathing out daily and nightly then what's it say whatsoever he doeth shall prosper prosperity will come through that and from that Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law or the word shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night sounds very much like that other verse of scripture this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth if it's not out of your mouth where is it it's in your mouth but thou shalt mutter it breathe it out day and night or daily and nightly that thou mayest observe to do to see how to do people say oh I don't see how to do it I don't see how to be a rich person I don't see how to be a healed person then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success you might say I don't see how to do it well you gotta keep at it keep at what keep saying the word mm -hmm. keep breathing it out daily and nightly until you see how to do it could it really be this simple could it really be hidden in plain sight that that's how these things work it is really that simple we make it more complicated by adding things to it I have what I have to work with my own physical being my own spiritual being my own mental being you know I, I don't get another piece of clay to work with you understand you have what you have to work with say I have, I have. What, I have what I have to work with, to work with. but these things will work for you if you have a tongue you can begin saying it daily and nightly and it will begin to work for you and it will it will take you to a place that you couldn't be mm -hmm. just by yourself yes. praying in tongues does many things that's not what this message is about I've got a lot of messages on praying in tongues right mm -hmm. it does many things worshiping the Holy Ghost using the words I worship you Holy Ghost and I worship you Holy Ghost only because he's the only God in the earth today that does many other things mm -hmm. it does things that speaking in tongues can't do they are diversities of operations they operate differently and they do something different you understand praying in tongues does certain things and many things worshiping the Holy Ghost as God does many other things but confession listen confession of the scripture does one thing confession of a scripture 
does one thing what do you suppose that one thing is that scripture now I understand there's a lot of mechanics that go behind it and yes angels get involved and it builds your faith and yes I'm not saying that but confession of a scripture listen does one thing it does that scripture when you breathe it out it does that say when I breathe it out, when I breathe it, breathe it, out it does that proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the lord makes you rich and adds no sorrow with it what does proverbs 10 22 do when i say it it does that it makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it mm -hmm. what if i don't see it yet daily nightly daily nightly you say it you continue to say it until it does that that's what it does that one thing if I do that I'm proving that scripture and I can hold fast to that which is good is that good is Proverbs 10 22 good yes because it came from a good God who spoke good words I'm gonna prove it and hold fast to that which is good even though people don't like it will people like you being blessed made rich and no sorrow added no they won't like it guarantee you they won't like it does that does that mean it's not good no. it's still good because it came from a good god who spoke good words that you're now breathing them out you're proving it and holding fast to that which is good is this making sense yeah. now these things become your most precious possession yes I can pray in tongues and thank God I speak in tongues more than most of you <laughs> I worship the Holy Ghost it does many things but when you begin to declare a specific promise of God and you do it daily and nightly it becomes your most precious possession you begin to possess it and it's good mm -hmm. what happens if I confess by Jesus stripes I was healed and it does that one thing I begin to possess by Jesus stripes I was healed it heals my physical body mm -hmm. yeah. what if I confess Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it it becomes my precious possession it does that mm -hmm. for me is that good yes. am I proving it mm -hmm. yes and am I holding fast to that which is good yes you put it on you wear it it becomes you you become it does this make sense yes how about youth renewal mm -hmm. forget not all his benefits who renews your youth if I put that in my mouth what does that do he renews your youth mm -hmm. is that a precious precious possession yes. yeah could it really be this simple Joshua had some big shoes to fill didn't he he was taken up after Moses mm -hmm. what did God tell him to do study work stress sweat a lot no he said to begin saying the word mm -hmm. begin saying taste and see you're tasting of the good word of God it really is this simple because there's power in every word of God to bring itself to pass in your life if you taste it then you will see it say if I taste it I will see it what if I haven't seen it you need to keep tasting it you haven't tasted it enough you didn't taste it enough mm -hmm. I don't think you tasted the whole thing <laughs> say daily, daily and nightly, and nightly. Until. until the until is the promise part you will see it mm -hmm. you'll see the goodness of the Lord the Holy Ghost living God giving you richly all things to enjoy all things Psalms 118 verse 5 I called upon the Lord how do you call did they have text back in that day 
no so they called upon the lord what do you use to call with you call with your voice you i called upon the lord in distress and the lord answered me and set me in a large place now the distress means a tight place a narrow place a place of being under pressure so i called upon the lord used my mouth mm -hmm. and the lord answered me and set me in a large place a large place picture it, whatever it is a place that's not tight with money but you have large money Amen. say large money large money it's large money different than tight money yes. mm -hmm. i've been in both places i prefer the large money Amen. say i, I prefer, prefer the large money large. is that good yes. i called upon the lord and the lord answered me who did the lord answer the one who called the Lord answered me and set me in a large who did the Lord set in a large place the one who called a large place of health a large place of healing a large place of youth renewal not just a little bit a large place does God have youth renewal yes. you want a little bit or do you want a large amount call 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 this is your calling your calling is calling i called upon the lord the lord answered me and set me he answered the one who called and he set in a large place the one who called if you don't call you don't get set in the large place is there a large place of money is there a large place of business is there a large place of health is there a large place of ministry you call he sets you in it you don't call you don't get set in it does this make sense yes. is this too simple it seems too simple but it's not that's how God does it that's how he requires you to do it maybe that's why we've missed it so often I tell you and I and the reason I brought that up worshiping the Holy Ghost do I worship the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. yes I worship him every day do I pray in tongues yes I pray in tongues every day but I'm telling you this operation of simply just saying a scripture do you see it in the word yes. mm -hmm. just saying a scripture establishes that one thing in you it does one thing that's why you got to figure out what you really need what you really want mm -hmm. right. and then it does it mm -hmm. for you yes. I called answered me set me in a large place you call he answers you sets you in a large place but you have to do the calling mm -hmm. and the calling is not God help me God help me. the calling is simply declaring a scripture that is for you living God gives me richly all things to enjoy that's a great one because it, in, it includes all things to enjoy yes. he sets you in a large place a place where you can live you can't live in a narrow place you can live like have you ever heard of that live large mm -hmm. is God a big God can he handle your largeness of mouth mm -hmm. right he can handle what but he put it that way mm -hmm. your large mouth mm -hmm. say I have a large mouth, I have a large mouth. <sighs> so we're proving it you see how we're proving it and then we're holding fast to that which is good why is it good because it's what the Holy Ghost already said and he's a good God and we're tasting of the good Word of God in our life and we're proving it and we're holding fast to it so how are you going to get into that large place that large place of ministry that large place of finance that large place maybe it's a large place maybe it's a large house by your calling mm -hmm. it's your calling right. say it's my calling. it's my calling your calling is what gets you in the place it seems simple but it works it's effectual and I tell you it becomes your most precious possession 
those things that you confess regularly daily nightly you become it they become you you put it on you wear it first corinthians chapter 9 verse 13 do you not know that they which minister about the holy things live of the things of the temple who's the temple of god in our day yeah. we are the temple of the holy ghost who is the living god who is a good god who gives us richly all things to enjoy and we're supposed to prove it and hold fast to it live of the things of the temple but in order for you to see them you have to first taste them mm -hmm. holy ghost to pray for these people that this word is making sense to them that they know and acknowledge you as the living god and begin saying the specific verses that you've given to them that they may see it that they may prove it and hold fast to how good and great you are we worship you holy ghost i thank you for blessing them in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering or a tithe and an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are a good god and i say your good word the blessing of you makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it i am blessed i am increasing and your goodness shall be seen in my life in jesus name the father amen jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god in the earth to